Welcome back. California lettuce growers faced hotter than average temperatures and crop diseases that led to a shortage of lettuce, which of course raised prices for lettuce over the last few months. But a less known way to grow lettuce is starting to gain more attention to help fix this shortage called aquaponics. Thomas Hoppo spoke to one of the aquaponics lettuce producers in the country and shows us how this type of agriculture can help with sustainability. Day by day, we are losing resources, the ability to not only feed our communities, but do so in a way that is in tandem with the environment and the ecosystem. Nearly 100% of our lettuce is produced in California and Arizona year round, according to the Agriculture Marketing Resource Center. Centralization of the lettuce industry means that any kind of impact, it affects the entire country all at once. However, the industry's crops have taken a hit, with hotter temperatures and crop diseases causing a shortage in prices of lettuce to rise. They, they just float on, on water and the roots will grow right down into the trough here. But if you come to Lisbon, Maine, you'll find one of the biggest lettuce producers on the East Coast, run by founder Trevor Kinkle. So these guys have just been here for a few weeks uh, and they will uh, grow out over the course of the year and, um, and produce fertilizer the whole time. This is called aquaponics, an organic way to grow lettuce all by using these fish. And this system here was designed by Kinkle. So we combine fish and plants in a recirculating system where the fish provide fertilizer for the plants. Springworks raises the fish here and uses their wastewater to fertilize the lettuce. The plants clean the water so it can then be recirculated, filtered, and sent back to the fish tanks, which allows Springworks to use less water than a conventional lettuce farm. Using less resources and producing about 2 million heads of lettuce every year and up to 200,000 pounds of tilapia and untouched from climate change and crop diseases. We're one of the largest uh, growers in the country and there's only a handful that use this technique right now. So we grow about 20 times more lettuce per acre than a conventional field. In order to combat climate change and diseases that have made things difficult in California and Arizona, Kinkle believes other communities can do this to help prevent shortages and provide jobs. So sourcing local is number one priority for us here. So this is the baby romaine that we get. This is a two pound package. We're currently selling this to not only street business, but also to our institutions like prisons, hospitals and schools across Maine and New Hampshire. It's beautiful. One of the key benefits here is that they didn't they didn't take an existing farm and, and grow it. They took land and they turned it into these greenhouse spots and and they're producing on land that wasn't farmland before. It was it was just a forest. They're providing jobs and, and you know providing products that are made here locally, which I think is just phenomenal. And as they continue to expand and grow their business, we're really happy to have them here in town and, and provide that economy for our citizens. So a regionalized approach allows for many things to not have to happen with California product coming all the way over. So resources like gas, because if we can make systems like this so that pr products are, you know, traveling, let's say 250 miles, they're getting fresher product so that less is actually waste. Like it's really, it's a battle of waste, right? And the, the goal is to have zero waste. Springworks Farms is expanding in Maine, but hopes others across the country can adopt their approach to lettuce and fish farming to help provide more while using less. Thomas Hoppo, Scripps News, Lisbon, Maine.